All right, Dave Delavani here with Caldwell Banker Residential, and I'm continuing, I think I'm on um, part five of my Business Not As Usual series. So what I'm doing is I'm interviewing local business owners, CEOs, uh, owners of nonprofits, et cetera, that are in the Northern Virginia area or service the Northern Virginia area, kind of just getting a feel for uh, what's going on with the, uh, with the pandemic and the quarantine and you know, how we've been dealing with it. So today my guest is Luke Baumstar with U.S. Health Advisors. Uh, and I can tell you from experience uh, as a customer with U.S. Health, Health Advisors, they have a wonderful product and uh, I'd advise any of you to talk to Luke about it. It's definitely worth your uh, phone call. I've also known Luke's family. I was calculating it before this, uh, this video. It's close to 30 years that I've known your uh, mother and father. I, I knew them before Luke was even born and I've had the privilege of watching him grow into a, uh, an amazing uh, businessman. So this is a really fun interview for me. So welcome Luke to, the, uh, to our Business Not As Usual video series. Yes, thanks for having me, Dave. You're welcome. Um, so what I'd like to do is um, kind of just get an idea of kind of what U.S. Health Advisors does and, and how business was and how you were operating, uh, let's, let's call it BC, before COVID. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, U.S. Health Advisors, as you can see behind me, uh, they're an extension of the United Healthcare family, a United Healthcare company. Um, and really what I always like to say is we kind of handle the individual self-employed um, market, if you will. Um, that, that's kind of our primary you know, focus of where we're able to help people out the most. If somebody um, you know, doesn't get it covered through their job or it's just crazy expensive to add their three-year-old daughter or wife or husband, something like that. Uh, or again, if somebody's self-employed and obviously they don't get it through their job, that's where we find out we're really able to help people out the most. Um, and it's, it's a tremendous thing working for this company and working with this company and, and being able to help people in that way. Fantastic. So prior to uh, prior to this COVID thing happening, maybe like three months or so ago, how was business? Was it was the volume pretty good? Was were things working pretty smoothly for you? Yeah. So I mean, with this company, uh, they offer something that really no one else does. So you know, business is always you know in, in a prime spot, I'd say, because you know when it comes to shopping for individual healthcare, there's really not much out there. Um, and if you can qualify for anything better, as you know yourself, Dave, uh, it's a thousand times worth it just to make that phone call or uh, explore those options. Yeah. Uh, before COVID, I would say, you know, obviously what's changed is a lot of my business came from uh, networking, building relationships, um, you know, whether it's a group or just, you know, attending an event where you might meet somebody. And that's kind of my thing. I, I love meeting people out. Um, I'm not so much a, you know, secluded businessman. I, I like to be out. I like to, you know, meet people. Um, so that's been a big change in how, you know, uh, for all of us, how we've done our business. Um, but, you know, and in the same way, you know, for a long time, this company and what we've been doing is, you know, very rare do we do an in-person meeting anymore. Um, that's very rare. Occasionally, someone requests it. You know, I always offer it on the table if they're local. But um, these days, you know, everything's virtual. So 99% of, you know, my appointments are done through screen share anyway. So it hasn't affected it that much. You know, whether it's something like this or if they're just able to see the screen on your smartphone, tablet, computer. Um, and especially, again, you know, with, with self-employed people being, you know, my, my primary client base, um, you know, they, we're, we're pressed for time, you know, so they want to save time as much as possible. So if they can just hop on the screen for 30, 40 minutes, yeah. um, have a chat, have a discussion, that's what everybody likes the most. I offer in person sometimes. and They're like, ah, can we just do it over the phone? No problem. So that's that's. Um, that hasn't changed much, but as far as meeting people, uh, I mean, just being out, you know, just being out and, and mentioning something that's, that's totally changed business for everybody, obviously. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and you alluded to the fact that I actually use, um, uh, us health advisors and it did save me a significant amount as a self-employed person. So I know the product is really, really good. Um, but you're right for uh, networking, getting out there, meeting people, by the way, I'm an introvert, so I love this quarantine thing. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't, I don't really believe it. it. I don't, I don't really love it. it, but it's nice. to. It, it, I like being alone. I'm, I'm cool. One-on-one, -on -one, I'm fine. I don't really like big crowds. Um, but yeah, it's changed. I know for us, it's changed the way we do our networking because the way mm -hmm. if you're self-employed, typically the way you get new clients is by, you know, friends of friends, that sort of thing, meeting Shaking people after, and, and we just can't do it anymore. So it's, it's uh, the, the theme that I've, I'm getting from a lot of these interviews I'm doing is just how, um, how much ingenuity is out there and how we can really uh, we're, we're very flexible as human beings. We can, we can change the way we do business and we're figuring it out. So even our, Absolutely. even our networking has gone, gone virtural. So pretty, mm -hmm. pretty neat. 
Um, so what are you like assuming? I mean, we are going to come out of this eventually, uh, you know, whether it's a month or whatever what the timeline is, you know, kind of the chains will be, uh, will be, will be unchained or whatever. Um, any positive words or how do you think, how do you think it's going to work afterwards? And, or maybe, maybe we'll keep some of the same, uh, same strategies we've been using here. I don't know. Yeah, I think as far as, you know, not even just the health insurance industry, but business as a whole, I think will kind of be affected. I think, you know, people say this is the new normal. I think there will be another new normal coming, not just back to how everything was. I think there might be still a little bit of social distancing for a long time, but especially for businesses, I think, um, you know, a lot of businesses have realized that, hey, we can, you know, with Zoom, Zoom is a fantastic resource. You know, with Zoom, we can have a check-ins with our employees. We can have an all-day meeting with our employees to make sure they're at their desks. And we don't have to spend, you know, three, four, five thousand dollars a month on a physical location for something that can most likely be done at home. You know, a lot of businesses, especially in this area, um, you know, it's an office space with people on their computers. And yes, while I thrive and love that kind of office environment of, you know, people being able to help each other and there's camaraderie and things like that. I think from a business owner standpoint, especially someone that's running a small business, um, it just doesn't, it won't make much sense as much. I think of course there'll still be those physical locations, but yeah. I think it, it won't make uh, as much sense obviously to just be paying so much for something that as we're seeing now can be done at home. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think in our industry, I think one of the biggest changes will be again, you know, obviously we do a lot of virtual things anyway, um, screen shares, things like that, FaceTime, this sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, I think the biggest change in our industry and, it, and I, I'm even kind of seeing it now, you know, during this COVID, 19 pandemic, um, you know, it's never, a, you know, you don't ever want to say, you know, it's kind of a good thing, but for business, you know, people have been start shopping for health insurance more than ever uh, mm -hmm. because they're realizing, you know, I could get stuck in the hospital from this COVID thing and, and you know, it'd be horrible. Yeah. Um, okay. But, you know, I think coming out of this and even now people are really taking a look at what they do have, you know, because they want to know if I have to go to the hospital for this sort of thing, yeah. what am I liable for? Yeah. Um, and a lot of people are just kind of, you know, they, they've found something, they've kept it for a while and they don't really know what it is. So I find myself talking to a lot of people, whether they're self-employed or not, just with a yeah. conversation of, you know, what do you have? You know, are you aware of what you have? I think coming out of this, people might value health insurance higher than ever, but at the same time, um, it's going to open the door to, I think, a lot of scams and things like that, because a lot of people, you know, buy their health insurance just over the internet from someone they don't know. Yeah. And I think that's when the relationship of somebody that you can, you know, see, whether it's through social media, that's another thing that's, that's huge for my business is social media. Yeah. Um, you know, before all of this, I found, you know, I was able to kind of document my day, you know, social media, I'm going to a meeting, this, that, that. That's been harder because there's not much going on if you're sitting at your desk inside. <laughs> not too exciting, huh? <laughs> yeah, not too exciting. Um, but I think that's that what people will see the importance of that uh, as opposed to just buying something over the internet uh, because, you know, they might see that they can get something for 50 bucks a month. Uh, but when it comes time to actually use that, you know, they might find out that they, you know, are not on something that's real insurance. So yeah. I think it will, you know, positive to, positively affect the industry, but at the same time, uh, people can get roped into something that they're really not sure about. So having that physical person, um, whether you can just see them like this or, yeah. Um, in person is going to be that much more important. Fantastic. Good work. That's a good, a good closing statement there, buddy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I appreciate it. Luke, you are wise beyond your years. Uh, I, I've really enjoyed working with you on a professional level uh, and knowing your family on a personal level as Thank well. You. So, um, and I think that was, that was the reason why I'm calling this business, not as usual series is um, even our lives. You, you, you mentioned it. Uh, people saying, oh, let's get back to normal. We're never going to go back to what was right. normal. It's going to be a new normal. So um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a man of faith, and I believe that uh, we're all going to come through this strong and healthy and, uh, and, um, and learn from it and, uh, and maybe change the way we do business, but certainly appreciate what we have more and appreciate our families more. And even I, I read something yesterday that said just people are spending more time outdoors now that they're locked in. <laughs> <laughs> because you you see it yeah <laughs> they're not in their cars they're not in their houses they're not in their offices so they go out and they go for walks they go running they go you know it's, it's so it's time a, with family it's very it's that's, nice that's the new normal so yeah thanks again, Luke. i really appreciate it god bless you Bye absolutely now. thank you dave